Okay, so we've briefly looked at the periodic table and where metals and non-metals lie. We've got 18 non-metals all here, then there are the 7 semi-metals, and the rest are all metals. So if you focus on period 2, lithium and beryllium are metals, but boron is a semi-metal, and the rest of them are all non-metals. So going from left to right, metallic character decreases. Similar trends can be seen when moving down a group, for example in group 14. Carbon is a non-metal, silicon and germanium are semi-metals while the rest are metals. So metallic character increases down a group. Now one of the characteristics we tend to look at is how metals react with water. Remembering back from when sodium metal is dropped in water and it kind of dances on the surface and the heat generated ignites the hydrogen gas produced. As a general rule, metals react with water to form the metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. When the metal elements interact with water, they form cations as they lose their valence electrons. The weaker the attraction between the valence electrons and the nucleus determines how readily the metals react. So as you move down to cesium for example, this tends to cause a huge explosion as the one valence electron is weakly attracted to its nucleus, so the reaction is very vigorous. Group 2 elements react much less vigorously because the second electron that must be lost to form the cation is held on much stronger, so it's not as easy to lose. In fact, beryllium doesn't react with water because of this. However, as the valence electrons get further away from the nucleus and are in high energy levels, the reaction becomes more exciting, so to say.